Oh god, here she comes, here she comes, here she comes. Hi, 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 hi. Hello, hello. Hi, bye. Hey guys, what's up? It's Ray here, and welcome back to another overpriced, overly expensive, why did I buy this? pen review. In the past, I have done videos on a $100 gold Gucci pen. I have done a review on a overly priced Supreme pencil. And finally today, I am going to be reviewing a gold Louis Vuitton pen. Now this pen, I got it on eBay for I think like $140, $150, something like that. And it didn't really have much information besides the fact that it was a used Louis Vuitton pencil, pen, thing. And so because of that, I did a little research on Louis Vuitton pens. For example, right now, if you were to go to their website, their official website, and type in pens, you would pull up basic fountain pens that cost $1,600. Uh, here's a basic ball pen, Carte du Tendre, that cost $680 for a pen. And this pen looks super basic. If you were to look around a little bit, you would also find pens that cost, <sighs> sorry, I'm just, <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot of money. This fountain pen costs $2,340 for a pen, a pen Bowie, a pen. So while I was looking for pens, which mine is kind of like a basic Louis Vuitton uh, ballpoint pen, I found one similar to what mine looks like for uh, $300. So I'm assuming that's how much my pen that I have ordered originally cost. And don't get me wrong, it could have cost way more than $300, but I mean, $300 is good enough for me. As always, throughout all of my videos that I do on these, we are going to put it through a series of tests. At the end, I'm going to rate it and give my final review. And this video hopefully will give you an exclusive look into the world of Louis Vuitton pens. By the way, I feel like I'm an uncultured swine, so throughout this video, I'm gonna like mess up a few times and pronounce it Louis Vuitton, which I know is just gonna like piss a lot of people off. So I just wanna say sorry in advance. And another warning before we get into this video is that I have a few bombshells to drop on this video at the end about the Louis Vuitton uh, pen. So sit back, relax, and we'll go ahead and get started. Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, let's just jump right into this because I've had this package literally since October 20th. <laughs> and right off the bat, I can tell that this already has so much better packaging than the Gucci and the Supreme one. First of all, much more squishier, there's bubble wrap in here. And two, the guy was nice enough to put a fragile sticker on there, so I, I'm really excited to see what's inside. I feel like out of all the eBay sellers, he probably came through the most. Oh yeah, he used the big bubble wrap, and I'm into it. Oh, that's sweet, he put a thank you sticker. That's really nice. That's what I call service, man. Watch, the reason he was like so good and he like put all this packaging is because what's inside is really bad. He's like, I gotta make up for it somehow. Oh, snap. Oh, she snapped. Oh, she snapped. Do you see that packaging? The Louis Vuitton packaging? The sticker? Oh, she snapped. Oh, she snapped. Oh my gosh. Dude, look at this. Wow, this is deluxe, man. This packaging is like better than any present I have ever received. This is like next level. This is some real ribbon. This isn't just a cardboard tag. It has like embellishment on it. It has a little thing for you to pull out. Whoa, this is so fancy. Oh my gosh. And of course on the packaging, it says Louis Vuitton, or Louis Vuitton. Sorry, I'm like a redneck who can't pronounce Louis Vuitton. 
So we're just gonna open it and reveal the possibly $600 to $2,000 pen. Is it in there? Oh, there's a hair in it. Oh, oh, dude, oh no. Oh, dude, look, there's a hair in it. Can you guys get that? Well, that's lovely. <laughs> okay, moment of truth. It feels really small. Oh, wow. That's way smaller than I thought. Wow, that is uncomfortably small. But it's very, very shiny. Like, if you guys t were to see this in real life, how do you open it? Okay, hold on. Let's, <laughs> let's clean up all this mess and then we'll come back to see how you open this because I'm not too sure how you open it. Now this has a lot of detailing and it's probably going to be very hard for you guys to see because of the harsh reflection. But the cap has some detail that says Louis Vuitton. Mm. As well as the back of the cap that says made in France. I think you just twist it. There you go. But yeah, I'm shocked with how small it is. I mean, if you were to compare it to a normal size pen, there's a clear, clear difference. You know, I'm kind of curious to see like just how small it is. It's only three and a half inches. It's so teeny tiny and cute. Now given this isn't as flashy as the Gucci pen, which had like the giant Gucci symbol on it, and it's not as sleek as the Supreme pencil, which just said Supreme on it, this one is a nice in-between of like super bougie and kind of like a normal pen. But even the pen detailing says Louis Vuitton. And yeah, let's just do some swatches because I have no idea if this pen is black, blue, purple, what color it is. I guess I'll just do a quick little swatch like wah -yah. Oh, this thing is hard to write with. I, <laughs> I can already tell like it's hard to write, write with. Eh, okay, so my very first impression is that I'm not very impressed with what I'm getting here. I mean, this pen originally was, what, $300? And in my opinion, that kind of looks like any other pen. For example, let me compare. This pen has never been used. I had it just lying around. And you know, you can get these pens for hella, hella cheap. That's the Louis Vuitton side, and this is the good old Bic side. Whoa, right off the bat, do you see how much darker and easier and smoother this big pen is compared to this one? That's actually kind of alarming. I mean, if you're gonna be paying $300 for a Louis, Vuitt Louis Vuitton pen, you'd think it'd be hella darker. They actually do have two colors. They have a black and a blue, but this pen does not look like a blue. It very, very, very much looks like a washed out gray. Like for example, here's an actual blue pen that I have. It'll focus ever. No, dude, focus. Never mind. And as you can see, it's pretty easy to. This one's kind of out. No, why are you out? And as you can see, when you actually do have a blue pen, it's pretty obvious that it's blue. Know what I'm saying? Look at this. Look at that. And just for further confirmation, Pink Sparkles did a video where she bought the cheapest thing at Louis Vuitton, which was the pen refill. And you can clearly see that the blue color is like a normal pen blue color. It's not anything super dark. So again, that's why I think that that is supposed to be a black, but it's more like gray. Okay, so now on to the drawing. And I know, I know if you've seen my other videos, you're like, where are all the other tests? But I feel like the bombshells are way more important than the test. So yeah, let's go ahead and start. So at this point, I fully thought the pen was all my fault. Like I thought I wasn't doing it right. I thought I wasn't working right. Like I thought it was something that was, I did wrong. So I decided to go ahead and proceed with a drawing, which in this case is the half Bic, half Louis Vuitton drawing. It was pretty much immediately that I noticed that something was very wrong with this pen. This pen is like super, super, super dry. I tried lighting it, which is pretty much like a surefire way to get it to go through. 
And when that didn't work, I pretty much knew immediately like something is up with this pen. Especially when I put it side by side by this random Bic pen that I had lying around the house. I mean, I was in such disbelief that this $300 to $1,200 pen could work so bad. I, I, I mean, surely, right? I mean, this is a Louis Vuitton handcrafted designer pen. I mean, surely it was me that was doing something wrong, right? <sighs> Okay, so at this point, I finished all the drawings, I finished everything that I needed to do, all the pictures, and I was about to finish recording, but you know what? I still have no idea what the heck is wrong with this pen. And I wouldn't be satisfied just ending the video not knowing what the heck is wrong with this pen. As I said before, I don't know if there's no ink, I don't know if it's broken, I don't know if it's too thick of an ink. So at this point, there's only one solution of what we're gonna do, and uh, we're, we're gonna cut it up. So yeah, let's go ahead and cut it open and see if we can get some ink. <gasps> oh, hell no. There's so much ink in this. Do you see that? I cut it about halfway and there's still so much ink in this. I don't know if you guys can see that very slight gleam, but that's pure ink. Uh, first of all, nothing's coming out. It's full of ink, but nothing's coming out. So what I'm gonna do is try to like dig it out using lead from a, a mechanical pencil. Oh, there it is. See, I told you the ink was just thick. It, this thing is full of ink. It's not even dried out or anything. It's just super thick ink. Look at that. Oh my God, Louis Vuitton, you guys, you need to get on it. You need to make thinner ink. Bruh, dude, no. Oh, and I guess here's even more further confirmation that this ink is indeed black. It's not blue, it's just a really, really strange shade of black. That pretty much answers all the questions that I had about this product. So on to the final thoughts and on to the comparison of the drawing and etc. etc. Okay, so it's been about a day since I've uh, deconstructed the pen. And it gave me some time to think about the pen and like what I thought and you know, give it like a fair, honest review from a non- confused slash heated standpoint. Now before we get into it, I wanna show you guys what the artwork looked like before I made the whole entire thing with a big pen. And while I was drawing that, I was kind of worried because I honestly truly thought that there was no ink in the pen, so therefore I couldn't give it a serious review. But once I broke open this $300 pen, and once I did see that it was full of ink, that the ink just didn't really work that well, that really changed my perception a lot. First of all, before we get into the cons, let's talk about the pros. I have never owned any kind of like Louis Vuitton before. I have never seen packaging that was like that on fleek. Is that a thing people say still? I don't think so. <clears throat> And I like the idea of the design. Like, I like how small it is, how it's convenient, how it's supposed to fit in your agenda. I like how this part is supposed to be a gripper. And um, yeah, that's generally what I like about this pen. Now the first problem that I had was the mystery ink. If I hadn't have broken it open, then I wouldn't have known that it was actually a black pen. Like I couldn't comprehend that this pen had so much lack of pigment that it was like a light gray. And I guess like the final icing on the cake is that this pen, which I clearly broke open the refill for, which I thought they sold online, the refills, aren't available anymore. You can't buy them. So basically the pen is useless. But you know what I mean? At least with like the Gucci pen, I could put a replacement from Dollar Tree. At least with the Supreme, I can go out to Walmart and put a replacement uh, lead in. But with this Louis Vuitton, it's a special size. I can't just go out to Walmart and get a special Louis Vuitton refill thing for this. And apparently they don't sell it. So <laughs> joke's on me. So ultimately, as far as design goes, durability goes, practicality, if I had to pick between the big pen, which I found lying around the house, versus the $300 Louis Vuitton pen, I think it's pretty clear that I would pick my favorite, the cheaper one, Bic. 
So anyway guys, if you want to see the $100 gold Gucci pen video, I will link that down below. And of course guys, if you would like to follow my art Instagram where I post updates as well as artwork and all that good stuff, you guys know where to find me. And yeah, with that being said guys, thank you so much again for watching and I will see you next video.